Well, fifth round, uh, Floyd May- Mayweather uh, caught you with one and bloodied your nose. Mm-hmm. And then the tenth round, you hit Floyd with a low blow. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you hit him in the back of the head as well. Mm-hmm. And then all hell broke loose. Unintentionally, though. You know, it's one of those things when you watch it, it was like a... You know, it was the it was the um, go one two kind of. It was the tenth round going into the eleventh. It was the end of the tenth round going into the eleventh. You know, a very, a very um, skillful fight, challenging, tough. We both was fatigued going into the fight. I mean, I was fatigued more than him. I mean, I can't speak for him and me. One of them things where it was just a reaction. He threw a punch, I slipped it, came back, came back. You know what I'm saying? Just that the angle of his body when I threw my punches. You know he. When I hit him, boom, he went down. I know, I just came back, boom. It's just, it's yeah. a reaction. It's a boxing reaction, but it wasn't intentionally. And when I did that, you know, they called it, you know, um, a low blow. Referee says stop. Mm-hmm. Floyd was doing, you know, he was moving around. Roger then at the time proceeded to get in the ring. Roger Mayweather. Roger Mayweather. Then Leonard Ellaby proceeded to get in behind him. Nobody's in the ring. Everybody knows this happens to anybody else in the world. This is what you call an automatic disqualification. I, when two fighters are fighting, if anybody else from the outside decides to get in the ring, it's an automatic disqualification. Am I right or wrong? Yes. So, but there we go again. We in Vegas fighting Floyd. That didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're saying that once Roger Mayweather jumped in the ring, mm-hmm. Floyd should have been disqualified and you should have won the fight. I don't got to say the rule book says that. Okay. The well, say that. Roger jumped in the ring. And approached you. Say it again. During the what? During right. the fight. During the fight. During the fight that was going on for right. the last Flo- past 10 rounds. Yeah. Floyd's uncle, Roger right. Mayweather. For the last past 10 rounds, I, we, we've been fighting. Now you decided, I want to get in the ring and have a conversation with that man right here in front of the whole world. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Well, well, then your dad jumped in the ring. Okay, but this is now. Afterwards, he's, yeah. He's sitting here watching two gentlemen jump in the ring, trying to shove and push past the referee to try to get his son. What do you think he's going to do? Right. Well, he ended up punching Roger. What do you think he's supposed to do? Right. What's your dad? And then what do you think I did next? What did you do? Because at, at that I, point, you can't even really tell what's happening. I turned up. I, was, I went right in the middle and brought out. Okay. Who'd you that's, punch? Who'd you hit? Whoever was in the way. <laughs> Anybody in the way. I mean, that's that, 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 was, that was it. I seen okay. my pops go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like now, now at this point in time, again, we go back to Brownsville. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, right. man. It's like, oh, pops in the ring. He fighting. Where? Turn up. Yeah, like, it ain't no. Well, let me look and see who was. It's no looking. It's, right, well, let me because Floyd actually walks away. He, hey, he listen, distanced man, himself from the whole from thing. Different parts of the world. Everybody yeah. from different mentality. Everybody got different mentality. His situation was he ain't gonna fuck the bag up. I, my situation was I don't give a fuck about the bag. That's my pops. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This is what we do. It, it, it's a broad breaking out. Pops is in there. It's game time. Yeah. I don't care about no bag. I, that's not. That's never been my motive in life ever. And, and people mm-hmm. know me in the whole world. know that's not. That's not. That's not my motive. But to other people, it's different. I mean, listen. He he was securing his bag. I mean, yeah. He set out his goal. You know, my goal was to don't to don't. You know, we zero. We zero. We zero tolerance. You violate, we demonstrate. Well, uh, police and security rush in to yeah. break everything up. Uh, Roger Mayweather got ejected from the fight. Uh, the fight finishes. It was three. It was three minutes ago. Yeah, the fight finishes. Floyd wins uh, by decision, I yeah, believe. I see. And then afterwards, uh, Roger Mayweather was fined two hundred thousand. His mm-hmm. boxing license was revoked for a year. Your dad was fined a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. License was revoked for a year. You were fined three hundred fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. License revoked for a year. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that was unfair? 100%. Yeah. The whole world did. And now looking back on it even more now, I mean, I'm glad that we're doing this, <laughs> this interview right now so now the world can see. I mean, that was, it was totally unfair. I got railroad, but you got to understand my positioning. It was Zab Judah and Don King coming from the East Coast, mm. going to Vegas, fighting Floyd Mayweather, which was the golden child at the time, and Bob Arum. It was no, it was no winning. This was the first time in in the decades that Don King and Bob Arum even talked to each other and did business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They had to put a, put put aside their differences and do what they had to do to get to get this money. 